My name's Simon Pierce. Uh, I'm a principal scientist at the Marine Megafauna Foundation. Um, I'm also a member of the Shark Specialist Group for the IUCN. Uh, the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species is the kind of global standard and conservation status of every species. And every 10 years or so we try and reassess each one. Uh, we've just done whale sharks again. Uh, they were last assessed in 2005 and we've just finished the new assessment and it's just been released. Um, previously they were vulnerable to extinction, uh, which suggested that they'd had more than a 30% decline overall. Uh, we have just upgraded the listing to endangered, which means that the population has probably halved over the last few years. The main change in the assessment has partly been better information on whale sharks. Uh, we've got longer trends, which have shown really substantial declines in quite a few parts of the world now. Uh, but also there's some major threats to whale sharks. So particularly in southern China, uh, there's still a large target fishery for whale sharks. Um, and that's, that's likely to really affect some of these regional populations in this area. So whale sharks are a really iconic species. Uh, they're the world's largest fish. Uh, they're totally harmless to people. Um, it's a real shame that they have been threatened by our activities because they're totally gentle giants. So here in the Philippines, we've been tagging whale sharks in various places. We've found that the population in this archipelago is actually really strongly connected and they're quite likely swimming into international waters as well. We started a collaboration to try and look at the connectivity between the whale sharks of the Philippines and how the fisheries in China might be influencing this population. The satellite tags can tell us a bit more about are these whale sharks residing here or are they moving elsewhere? Are they heading to the Pacific? Are they headed towards Taiwan? Are they headed towards the south of China? We know that there are active whale shark fisheries operating from the south of China and if the whale sharks from the Philippines are visiting or traveling through this area, they are at very high risk. So in terms of how people can get involved in whale shark conservation, uh, swimming with them, uh, taking advantage of some of these sustainable ecotourism industries is a really good way to get involved. Um, it's led to whale sharks being protected in quite a few countries. It's also looking at some of the other threats to whale sharks like uh, unsustainable tuna fisheries, particularly persane fisheries. So just be aware of your choices in seafood. So pole and line fisheries tend to be a lot more sustainable than persane.